हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर दत्तू पटेल फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी लास्ट सेशन वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट पॉची यूलर्स ऑर्डिनरी लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लिजेंडर लिनियर इक्वेशन लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ डेफिनेशन अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ ax plus b is to n n times derivation term means b is to n y upon dx is to n plus q of n minus one ax plus b is to n minus one b is to n minus one of y upon dx is to n minus one plus n so on q one ax plus b divided by dx plus k zero y equal to r of x where k n minus one k n minus two and so on k one k zero and a x and b are constant and here r of x is a maybe function of x or constant term is for the Legendre's linear ordinary differential equations in this method here we assume x plus b equal to e is to z then taking logarithm both sides first of all assume ax plus b equal to e is to z and taking logarithm both sides then ax plus b equal to we get z and we in this equation to create the x as a subject then we get x equal to e is to z minus b upon a we require these equations this value and this term and this term which is also in a example each and every example we require these terms here a and b has any constant value 2 3 4 5 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 etc whatever the value of a and b first of all How we identify given differential equation is Legendre or not? Then, for an example, suppose here we have x plus b y double dash. Then must be we require x plus b whole square. Here sign is positive, negative, any. Then x plus b y dash. Here single times the equation. Then we must require a x plus b. Here positive sign, negative sign, constant term, whatever. Plus y equal to r of x. Maybe zero. Maybe suppose here our term which is suppose our term which is a x plus b y triple x. Here in triple S, then we must be required whole cube. Another for example, suppose three x plus two y triple S, then we required must be cube. Here three and two, that is the value of a and b, that is constant term. Suppose three x plus two y double S, then we required whole square. Here sign is positive, negative. Three constant, four constant, two constant, whatever. Plus here three x plus two into y s and our sign which negative constant four three etc. Whatever plus y. This type equation, differential equation which is given in question, then we can say that given differential equation is Legendre linear equation. How much time differentiation is present, and that type of term we require a x plus b term. Now, here we differentiate this equation with respect to x. The derivative of this is one upon a x plus b into a, and here b z by dx clear according to this equation we can say that 
z is y is a function of z z is a function of x then y is a composite function of x by chain rule then we find dy by dx equal to y is a function of z then dy by dz into dz by dx that is our chain rule substitutive values of dz by dx in this equation then we get dy by dx here dy by dz into a upon ax plus b this x plus b comes this side then ax plus b dy by dx equal to a into dy by dz then then here we can say that ax plus b divided by dz then a as it is d by dz we can write theta into y where theta equal to d by dz and here capital d equal to d by dy similarly Suppose a x plus b whole square, d square y by d x square. Then we can write here a, then here a square. Theta, theta minus one into y, where theta equal to d by d z. Similarly, suppose a x plus b q, third times derivation term. Then here multiply with a q, single order derivation then a, second order then square, third order then a q. Here theta, theta minus one, theta minus two into y. Similarly, suppose four times derivation, then we can say that a is to four. Theta, theta minus one, theta minus two into theta minus three into y, and so on. We require this formula to solve the examples you must be remember this clear let us start with examples Let's start with example. Example is three x plus two whole square y double s three three x plus two y s minus thirty six y equal to three x square plus four x plus one. Now, first of all, we identify. Given differential equation is Legendre or not? Then here single times derivation term is present. Then must be a x plus b multiplied. Then three as a a and two as a b. Here two times differences and then must be a x plus b whole square was present. Then we can say that which is Legendre's linear differential equations. Then according to this method, first of all, we assume a x plus b equal to e raised to z. Then taking logarithm both sides, then we get log of three x plus two equal to z. We require this equation, and in this equation. To become the x as a subject, then x equal to we can say that e raised to z minus two divided by three. 
this equation we require in this equation now according to the two times differentiation then we can write theta theta minus 1 into y y which is common into a square then here a square is a 3 plus first 3 as it is ax plus b into y is then a into theta into y minus 36 y common equal to 3 ax plus b then here e raised to z minus 2 by 3 whole square plus 4 e raised to z minus 2 by 3 plus 1 now simplify this term then 3 square means 9, 9 theta then here 9 theta square minus 9 theta 3 3 is a plus 9 theta minus 36 into y here first 3 square 3 3 cancel out taking LCM 3 then 1 by 3 which is common a minus b whole square then a square minus 2 to the 4 2ab plus 4 4 comes inside the brackets minus 4 to the 8 plus 3 then plus 4 to the cancel in this differential equation this is cancel then 9 is common then we get theta square 9 4 is 36 equal to 1 by 3 here e raised to 2z 4 plus 3 is 7 then minus 1 this 9 which is comes this side then 9 3 is 27 then according to this equation we can say that this term which is indicated by f of d and this term which is indicated by r of x S similarly above with the help of shortcut cases case 1 2 5 here r of x has a whatever the term we use up to with the help of shortcut methods case 1 2 5 we find complementary function and particular integral then here we get m equal to plus or minus 2 then y is equal to c1 e raised to z, to z plus c2 e raised to minus 2z we require this equation in terms of x here differential equation in terms of z then we convert in terms of x similarly as a cauchy euler linear differential equation method then here we can write c1 e raised to z whole square plus c2 e raised to z raised to minus 2 then c1 e raised to z then we can write 3x plus 2 whole square plus c2 here we can write 3x plus 2 raised to minus 2 that is our equation of yc similarly we find yp the formula of particular integral is we already know 1 upon f of d into r of x substitute the value of f of d and r of x then here in terms of r of z because our differential equation in terms of z here theta in terms of theta where theta equal to d by dz then 1 upon theta square minus 4 into 1 upon 27 e raised to 2z minus 1 now simplify this term then 1 upon 27 1 upon theta square minus 4 e raised to 2z minus 1 upon theta square minus 4 here constant term then we can write e raised to 0 second term we have value of a equal to 0 first term we have value of a equal to 2 if we put a at here then denominator portion becomes 0 then v multiply with z and differentiate this term then we get 2 theta into e raised to z here we put directly 0 then 0 into minus 4 e raised to 0 that is 1 now then 1 upon 27 z 
again 2 to the 4, then by 4, e raised to 2z, minus minus plus, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 common, then 27 into 4, then 108, z e raised to 2z plus 1, that is our yp, then convert in this equation, in terms of z, in terms of x, then z equal to, we can say that log of 3x plus 2, yeah, e raised to 2z, the then we can use similarly e raised to z whole square, then e raised to z equal to 3x plus 2 whole square plus 1, then last general solution is, is a nothing but the combination of the complementary function and particular integral, then substitute the values of a and b in this equation and we get final answer, our general solution, where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constant. Similarly, we solve next counter example. Example is 1 plus x whole square y double s plus 1 plus x y s plus y equal to 4 cos log 1 plus x. First of all, we are identified given differential equation is Legendre or not then here ax plus b that is a equal to also 1 and b equal to also 1 single times derivation then ax plus b present 2 times differentiation and then ax plus b whole square 3 times derivation and then ax plus b whole cube this form of differential equation which is given in equation then we can say that given differential equation is Legendre then first fall in this method we first assume ax plus b equal to e raised to z in this equation to become this subject as a x then x equal to e raised to z minus 1 now taking logarithm both side then we get z we require this term Clear now in this equation theta theta minus 1 into y into a square here a equal to 1 then 1 square 1 no need to write 1 here similarly also 1 then 1 into this then we can write theta plus 1 common y equal to 4 cos here log 1 plus x then we write z then here our differential equation cos z that is our r of z or r of x then we use case 2 then here theta square minus theta plus theta plus 1 of y equal to 4 cos z cancel out this term theta square plus 1 of y equal to 4 cos z in this differential equation that is our f of d or f of theta and that is our r of x or r of z then we find complementary function and particular integral then first for our auxiliary equation is m square 1 plus 1 equal to 0 then m equal m square equal to minus 1 then m equal to plus or minus 1 i then we use case 3 then y c equal to e raised to 0 z c1 cos z plus c2 sin z e raised to 0 1 now convert this equation in terms of x then z equal to log 1 plus x then c1 cos log 1 plus x plus c2 
प्लस सी टू साइन लॉग वन प्लस एक्स दैट इज अवर वाई सी ना वाई पी इक्वल वन अपन एफ ऑफ टी इंटू आर ऑफ एक्स दैट इज अवर थीटा स्क्वायर प्लस वन इंटू आर ऑफ एक्स फोर कॉस जेड फोर कॉन्स्टेंट दैन वन अपन थीटा स्क्वायर प्लस वन इंटू कॉस जेड यर ए इक्वल टू वन दैन इन दिस केस दैट इज केस ऑफ सेकेंड केस एंड स्क्वायर इक्वल टू माइनस स्क्वायर Then here we replace minus one. Then denominator portion becomes zero. Then multiply with z and differentiate this term. Now two two z. Then two z. What about theta into cos z? If one upon d, then x becomes integral. Then the integration of this term that is sine z. That is our y p. Now. Then y p equal to. Now convert this equation in terms of x. Then two z which is replaced as the log one plus x into sine z. Then sine z that is our again log of one plus x. That is our equation number b. Then general solution is that is a nothing but the combination of complementary function and particular integral. Then substitute the values of a and b. Then here a equal to c1 cos of log 1 plus x plus c2 sine log of 1 plus x. That is the complementary function, and this one is particular integral. Where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constant. Similarly, each and every example of this method, we can find general solution. Then first of all, we apply the formula of general differential equation. That is, if two times differentiation, then we use theta theta minus one into y. If single times differentiation, then we use theta into y. If triple times differentiation, then we use theta theta minus one into y. And constant term whatever a a square a cube and so on. And first of all, whatever a x plus b, then we assume a x plus b equal to e raised to z. Then in this term to become the x as a subject, then x equal to e raised to z minus one. Then taking logarithm both sides, we repeat these equations in this substitute in this differential equation and simplify this term. Then we get f of d. Means f of theta and r of z. Then our differential equation. Then we find complementary function and particular integral and substitute this value in our general solution. That is our complementary function combination of complementary function and particular integral. Similarly. Similarly, you can try. Next example, yourself. Just as a homework. Here, x plus three whole square y double s minus four x plus three y s plus six y equal to x. In this equation, here. X plus three equal to we are taking assume x plus three equal to e raised to z and x equal to e raised to z minus three, which is general differential equation. Similarly, you can try another example. Y double s minus two two x plus three y s minus twelve y equal to six x. This both example you can try as a Homework. If you have any doubts regarding this topic, then feel free contact me. Thank you so much for listening this.